What's up guys, Mike here, welcome back to Game Dev with AI, our series and our challenge where I'm trying to develop my first indie real-time strategy game without any coding skills, just using visual programming and help from the tools of AI such as ChatGPT, Midjourney and of course some extra help by humans from Fiverr. In this video we continue our development and will add a new unit to our game. You know, my little son Eric is a big fan of monster trucks and he really wants to have one in the game and I thought it's quite a good idea to expand our family of the tanks and add a weaker but much faster monster truck that will have a machine gun on top. If you missed my previous video, please check it out first where we develop the family of the tank. Family is a group in the Construct 3 engine that we are using to make this game. And the family means it unites all the objects of the similar behavior together. For example, if we have selection, attack, uh, health, pathfinding, things like this can be simplified if we apply the family instead of trying to do the same code for different units each time all over again. So our monster trucks will be part of the family of the tanks. But of course it starts with the concept art. We start as usual with tools from uh, AI such as Kadinsky and Midjourney and you have to go through a lot of different fails before you get to something good. I mean, look at this abomination. <laughs> what the hell is this even? <laughs> As you can see, I spent hours and hours trying to get something right. <laughs> look at these wheels. And this is a wheel on wheel. This is double wheel. Looks like my one wheel. <laughs> Sometimes AI just doesn't make any sense when it's trying to get the job done. Then we got something like this. I mean, it looks beautiful, but come on. Look at this monstrosity. <laughs> All right. This looks much cooler, but it doesn't fit our game style. This is way too aggressive. That looks cool. Then we got something like this. But this is the wrong angle. We need isometric view, top-down view, not from the ground up. And finally, we got something like this. This is already something we can start working with. It looks really nice. It fits our game style. It has the weapon on top that we can rotate. This is a nice starting point. Then we are going to do a lot of variations and we are going to choose the one that we really like. We also need to select the weapon for it and that's another story. Midjourney really struggles with weapons and military stuff. It has no idea and no concept of what machine gun is. I mean, come on guys, this is such a monstrosity. Look at this. It has no understanding of what machine gun is. When I was giving it already references of machine guns from the games but it just keeps creating this nonsense then I tried to blend machine gun and a jeep and it created this <laughs> it's shooting from the nose I don't know even what this is so you have to go through a lot of nonsense like this before you can get anything done with AI it's not like you click and in a second it gives a perfect solution for everything. So you can see sometimes you can get something like this. For example, this looks good. We can cut this out. We can see something from here. So you have, I gave another reference what machine gun is. So you can see it keeps on struggling, creating a lot of nonsense <laughs> coming from the side. And I think finally I selected this one. On the top left, this gun I can put on top and 
kind of looks like machine gun works for me. And this is like a lipstick or what. <laughs> then as always we remove background, we put new sprite in the game and it has two uh, position idle and driving. In other tanks we don't have any driving animation because the tr tracks are very small but these wheels are so big so I have to add extra frames of animation and I simply put motion blur in Photoshop. So this looks like it's driving. If you run this animation it's kind of bouncing and wheels are blurred but since it's so small in the game it's not a problem at all. It looks nice to me. And as always don't forget to set the origin points. Zero is the center. One is where the weapon will be on top. And four and five is the positions for the trucks that will remain on the sand behind it. Again, check in our previous videos where we created tank family. I showed how we created it and the trucks as well. So now I added big wheel to our tanks family. So all the behavior of the tanks family that we have all this behavior will automatically be applied to our, to our truck, so it's much easier. However, there are quite a lot of differences from the truck and the gun, and the, and the tank with the gun. You see, uh, first of all, it cannot destroy the rocks. So we have to remember that. In the code where we destroy the rocks, the machine gun cannot destroy the rocks. Another difference is that our tank is a one sprite, but our big wheel has two sprites. The top of it, if you look here, is a turret which will turn around and the one, the main one, is just a sprite. So this is another difference from the tank family we made before. So we need to create another object called a turret machine gun hours. Again, origin point zero and origin point one where the bullets will come from. We position it here and it has only one behavior which is called, actually two behaviors, turret and pin. So it's stuck to the truck. We also created the separate bullet called bullet machine gun hours, which is same like bullet of the enemies, but it has code to interact with enemies and the turret you can see here let's find all the references I check find the references and where we have it here in the code turret machine gun hours so you can see code here as, as always feel free to pause and see it in more detail you can see for each turret we add targets for the enemies and if we had a line of sight of the enemies and the turret on shot it should turn around in the position where we're shooting and spawn sparks lights and bullet machine gun hours that we just created and talked about and of course some sounds now it's important on created it should be if it's overlapping with tanks family, we pin it on top of the tanks family. And we also want to pin this turret on the defender base so we can use it as a tower as well. This is why I like this idea and construct so you can pin things to different objects and you use them in different combinations. This can also allow us create different types of trucks, one with machine gun, one for example without anything and one with a rocket launcher. So let's quickly add this as well. We had a defender tower, which is another turret, rocket launch turret, and if it's overlapping with the fort, it's pinning to the fort. So we can just add the same code, and if it's overlapping with tank family, replace the object instead of fort. Uh, we have our tanks family, and you remember monster truck is a part of tank family. So if it's overlapping with tank family, it will be pinned on top and then it will be destroyed with an object. So 
let's try all the combinations. So this one will be with a machine gun and this one we can delete machine gun and we can copy the defender turret and put it on top and this is camera smiley face okay something like this all right let's double check if we are on correct player just in case and this one for example without anything so this one will have no weapon so you can see easily we created three different units with just one code this is what i love about construct tree and now if we run the game all right we have three tracks here one without anything it's it's good you can see it's using all the features already of our uh, right away, sir. of our tanks family except the trucks for some reason i don't see them but we'll check that later so we can capture flex but he cannot shoot he has no weapon so he'll just die okay he's dead Next we have me again. <laughs> because <laughs> next we have our with machine gun. Let's see how it goes. Let's kill some zombies. Standing by, sir. You see it's turning around. And it's shooting really well. We Alright. Okay, more zombies. Okay. This turret you can see perfectly turning and it can r drive and shoot Ready the zombies at the same time. But you can imagine this is quite a weak unit. It's not going to do much Lock against loaded. Gritty or some, or some heavy tanks. Okay, it's destroyed. And finally the last one we have with rocket. It has rocket launcher on top. The position is a little bit wrong. It should be on top of it, not below. Let's fix that quickly. So I put it on top of the sprite. It looks much better. Okay. And now you can see this one will shoot rockets. See, it's turning around and shooting rockets. Wow, very nice. So this is a strong version, upgraded version of our track, you can say. And it's turning around automatically when we see the enemies. Too much Red Bull. Nice one. Okay, and if you noticed, when it's dead, another difference is we have wheels coming up. I can show you what it does. I can call it with the Z button. Oh no. I'll show you again on different map. So basically we created the wheels object which has wheels and I put different animations so we have all kinds of wheels in different positions and orientations and I created extra function called wheels dead which has parameter scale factor and position of the wheels and wheels have following behaviors sign to pretend we are flying up to go up in the z then we have rotation sign two to move to the side and move two to move to the random places and fade here you can see the code you can pause it again if you wish basically what it does it's creating four wheels of different types and then spreads them around randomly and this function is called when our big truck is destroyed the flag is ours. so let's see finally everything in action Robot we have here three monster trucks Lock and loaded. Awaiting we, orders, sir. we still didn't solve overlapping yet again. so they're a little bit overlapping and all right
you can see where they're very quick and the wheels are coming up when they're dead All right, and we can enable the trucks as well. So now we fix the trucks, and you can see they appear in behind. Okay, I got stuck, and then the wheels are coming up. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you like what you see so far. Let me know in the comments below what we should add next to our game, where we should improve and pay attention. I'm very excited how our challenge is going. And of course, if you missed our video about zombies, check that out. That's really fun to have some zombies in the game. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. Here, look.